Um, an audible. Yes, sir. Okay, Arsalan. Arsalan, I cannot hear you. All right, Gautam, you, uh, you send the assignments, right? So in the first question, they are saying, from a group of three boys and two girls, we select two children. What would be the sample space for this experiment, right? So suppose I name this B1, B2, and B3, G1, and G2. You need to select two children. So they can be either B1, B2, B1, B3, B1, G1, B1, G2, or B2, B3, B2, G1, B2, G2. Same for B3, G1, B3, G2, or G1, G2. Right? This will be the sample space. You forgot to add like this different boys, right? What you did is uh, not accurate, right? Bottom. Yes, sir. Right? You didn't uh, differentiate between two boys. If they would say like uh, three similar things, then might have been true. But here, two, three boys are different. So you have to select like this. The second question they are saying, a coin is Toss twice. If the second throw results in a tail, then a die is thrown. Describe the sample space. All right. So we don't care about the first throw. So first throw is heads and tail heads. This is right. Yes. If it it is head and tail, the second throw, then die is thrown. T two ht three ht four ht five ht right. Absolutely. Right. Second question is absolutely right. Third question says, a coin is tossed if a tail will draw a ball from a box is two red, three black, throw a die. If it's tail, then B1, B2, B3, R1, R2, it's heads, then a die right. So here you differentiated between balls, but in the first case you didn't. How come? Bottom. Question four says a bag contains four, uh, sorry, an experiment consists of rolling a die and then tossing a coin once if the number on the die is even. Odd coin is tossed twice. All right.
Gautam, can you read the fourth question? Gautam, are you there? Sir, it's very small. Oh, sorry? It's very small. It's very small. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't end the assignment with you right now? No, sir. Okay. The question says, an experiment consists of rolling a die and then tossing a coin. All right. Once, if the number on the die is even, if the number on the die is odd, the coin is, the coin is tossed twice. That means here we are throwing the uh, throwing the die first, right? If it gives even, then a coin is tossed. If it's odd, then coin is tossed twice. Right? So here we uh, you wrote heads, then two heads, then four heads, then six. But this is wrong, right? You have to throw the dice first. So if it comes to, then you have to toss a coin, head or tail. Same for 4H, 4T. Right? Gautam? Yes, sir. And if it is odd, then you have to throw a dice. Uh, sorry, if it is odd, then you have to uh, the coin twice. So H H H T T H T T. For each odd case, there will be four cases. All right. Okay. Nasalan, why didn't you send the assignment? We're starting the class in two minutes. Oh, let's solve a question. Two dice are thrown. 
the events a b and c are as follows getting an even number on the first die getting an odd number on the first die and getting the sum of the number on the dice less than 5 describe the events not b a or b a and b A but not C. B or C. B and C. A intersection. B dash intersection. C dash. All right, Gautam, Aslan, Tyrus. Same as this previous question we did in the last class, right? Two dice are thrown, and the sum of the which come dice noted. Let us consider the sum is even, like mutually exclusive and exhaustive. We did all this in the last class. All right, Gautam.
sir in the in c if you write 1,2 can we write 2,1 or again definitely because there are two dice right so two can come in the first die and one in the second one come in the uh, first die and two in the second so these two are different all right yes sir Abdul, have you watched last class lecture? Okay, you can get the videos from Nishkar sir. All right, do watch the videos. Otherwise. probability will be very difficult to solve all right that was an introduction class
Gautam, have you solved this? Yes, sir. But the eighth one I'm not getting. Eighth one. All right. If you have all the sets, you know how to find inter uh, intersection, right? Just take the common element. If there are no common elements, that's null set. Don't worry. All right, bottom. Yes, sir. Okay, Arsalan, have you solved this? Okay. So moving on. Probability. All right. Till now we studied about events and mutually exhaust exhaustive, right? Mutually exclusive. So what is probability? Till class tenth, we have studied about what you want upon whatever you can get in total, right? Number of chances you want, the no total number of chances like that. In eleven, write down probability of any event. We write it as so, uh, could we do it then? All right. For me to solve eighth one, I have to know about these values. Can you tell me the values? What is set A? Sir, uh, A complement is A, no, A is uh, two comma one, two comma two, two comma three, two comma four, uh, two comma five, two comma six, and four comma one, four comma two, four comma three, four comma four. 4.5, 4, 4, 6, 6, 1. Right. So I can use this dot to dot dot. And this 6, 1, 6, 6, right? And what is not B? What is B? B is getting an odd number in the first step. So not B is same as A, I guess, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So A, intersection A is bottom what is the answer a intersection a what will be the common elements in these two sir a, a absolutely right. all right so we get to know that a union a now let's just find what is c dash what was c getting the sum of the numbers on dice less than five so that will be more than five so to get more than five we need what 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 will be the set c sir set to c or c complement uh, c dash let me no, sir c dash is uh, two comma five two comma six then uh, 4 comma 2 4 comma 3 4 comma 4, okay. 4 comma this 5. 2 can 2 comma 4 cannot be mm, in c dash 2 comma 5 why not uh, 2 comma 4 so 2 comma 4 is possible right possible so yes you missed that so 2 comma 4 2 comma 5 also why not start with 1 is one comma five not possible? Sir, I'm reading from the order I wrote. Uh, sorry? From the, which order I wrote? Okay, you, you wrote first the event, then odd. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, all right. But if you see, uh, if you write it like this, then it will be easier to calculate. All right, but you can uh, we can do it by your way. So this is four comma, uh, you wrote 4 comma 2 right 4 comma 3 and till 4 comma 6 right got them after this you got 4 then 6 comma 1 6 comma 2 till 6 comma 6 now 1 comma 5 1 comma 6 3 comma 3 3 comma 4 and so on 3 3 comma 6 
we wrote four already so five is left so five comma one till five comma six right we wrote all of this now you have to take intersection of this with this just take the common elements all right so see these numbers were starting with what even we have so the first thing we can deduce is all the even numbers can be there but secondly what numbers more than 5 so 6 all the numbers starting with 6 will be there right gautam okay yes, sir any number that is starting with 6 has to be more than 5 now this also all of this too all right so this is the common element why how to know instantly see this is the all the numbers starting with even number this is all the number the first three row all the numbers starting with even numbers and more than 5 this is all the number starting with even number so which will be the common one this right because this also starts with even and is more than 5 all right gautam so all the elements in set c dash starting with even number will be the answer clear yes sir okay moving on no other doubt probability all right in class 11 we write probability of any event e is number of outcomes favorable to event e upon total outcomes all right write down write it down and we also know probability of any event should be less than equals to 1 but more than equals to 0 right for an example the sample space was at comma tails right if they describe the event you want as e is equals to getting a head then probability of event will be what you want upon total outcomes add comma tail so 1 by 2 all right this you already know one question for all of you This is the sample space W one, W two, W three, W four, W five, W six. All right, this is a random sample space. Here is given as events W one, W two, W three, W four, and W six, and the probabilities are given. In the first case, event W one has the probability one upon six. This also one upon six. Each of them has probability one upon six. In the second case, this has probability one. All of them are zero. In the third case, this has probability one upon eight. This has two upon three. This has one upon three. This has one upon two. This has minus one upon four. This has minus one upon four. In the fourth case, this has one upon twelve. 
this is also minus uh, 1 upon 12, 1 upon 6, 1 upon 6, 1 upon 6, 3 upon 2. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. You have to tell me which case are possible, which are not. All right, these are individual cases. The question is, which case are possible for these events? All right, nothing else is given. Think about this. All right. This is a sample space. These are the outcomes. For each event, they have given you individual probabilities. You just have to say which case is possible. If this is possible, this is possible, this is possible, this is possible, like that. All right. I'll give you a few minutes to try to solve this. Gotham, solve this. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what is the answer here? The first case is possible, right? Yes, so sir. Each of them can have a probability of one upon six, so that we, if you add them, probability cannot be more than one, right? All of the individual cases, if you add them, it should be equal to one. So, this is right. This is also right. Second case, but in the third case, negative probabilities also are there, not possible. Here, if you add them, this is 
this is also not right i guess right this is more than 1 3.2 itself is more than 1 in here also this is more than 1 so not possible all right gautam how is the fifth one okay. see in the fifth one if you add all of them what is the total probability that you are getting 0.6 plus 0.5 1.1 if you add just this two and see in this sample space all of them if you add then the maximum probability can get is one right the sure event if you remember i told you was sure event that one of them is to happen if you add individual probability of all the sample spaces outcomes then you will get one that is clear for them because they are mutually exhaustive yes sir please yes. yeah so here it is more than one so this is not possible arsalan abdul is it clear abdul all right another question all right or write down type one questions the first type of question problems based on construction of sample space then this is type one probability i don't know question in a simultaneous toss of two coins find the probability of getting two heads exactly one head exactly two tails exactly one tail try to solve this by yourself first try to write the sample space then this is very easier to calculate you already know how to write the sample space you toss two coins then what are the outcomes then looking at the outcomes you can calculate the probabilities all right
now let's solve it arsalan gautam abdul gautam have you solved this yes sir okay yaar putti utla di the sample space would be if you toss two coins then head 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 tail tail head or tail tail this is all you can get right so the first case the first part you need to get two heads so there is only one outcome so one upon out of four one upon four is the probability in the second case exactly one head so this is one head this is also one head so two outcomes probability of this event will be 2 upon 4 so half in the third case exactly two tails so there is only one case 1 upon 4 in the fourth part exactly one tail so again two 2 upon 4 that is half in the fifth part no tails so that means only heads that is one one outcome so one upon 4 is the answer all right clear yes sir okay match your answer all right next question three coins are tossed three coins are tossed and find the probability of getting first is all heads at least two tails at most two heads no heads exactly one tail exactly two tails a head on first coin all right try to solve this one i'll give you a few minutes
Have you solved it? Gautam, Arsalan, Abdul? Yes, sir. Okay. So, when three coins are tossed, a sample space would be how to write it? Sets, sets, sets. Then, sets, sets, till, till. This is all the sample spaces. If they ask you three coins, then write it like this. Four heads, four tails, two heads, two tails, two heads, two tails, then head tails, head tails, head tails, head tails. Right? If they ask you about four coins, then there will be in total 16 cases. All right, two raised to the power four, 16 cases. So eight times H, eight times tail, then this thing, four times head, four times tail, four times head, four times tail, then two times head, two times tail, like this. This is the easiest way to uh, write the sample space. So now coming to the question, the first part, all heads. So this is only one case, one upon eight in the second, at least two tails. This is tail. Yes, at least two tails. So let's count. This is one, two, three, four. Four out of eight, that is half. Third one, at most two heads. That is maximum two heads. So this is one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. So seven cases. In the fourth part, no heads at all. That means all tails. One case. In the fifth part, exactly one tail. We need exactly one tail. So this is one, two, three, three cases. 3 out of 8. In the sixth one, exactly 2 tails. So this is 1 and 2 and 3. In the seventh one, a head on first coin. So first coin head says 4 cases. So 4 of 8 is half. Is it clear? Yes, sir. All right, match your answers. And Arsalan Abdul, clear? All right. Next question. A dice thrown. Find the probability of getting an even number a prime number a number greater than or equal to three a number less than or equal to four a number more than six A number less than 
or equal to six. All right. Try to solve this. I'll give you a few minutes.
solve this? Gautam Abdul Rasalan. Yes, sir. Okay, this is very easy, right? When a die is thrown, you get one, two, three, four, five, six. An even number is three even numbers. That means three out of six. So half a prime number. Gautam, what is the answer here? Sir, one by two. One by two, right? Prime number two, three, and five. So three upon six, one by two. Gautam, one is a prime number. No, sir. No, all right. A number greater than or equal to three. So four cases. So four out of six. Two out of three. A number less than or equals to four. Same. Four out of six. Two out of three. A number more than six. What will be answer here, Gautam? Sir, zero. Zero. And in here, six part. One. One. Because we will get at least one number, right? And that will be either less than or equal to six. The probability is one. Clear, everyone. Abdul Arsalan. Yes, sir. Okay. Moving ahead. Write down type two. Problems based on combination or selection. All right. So, if you guys thought permutation and combination is finished, it is not. Write down the question. One card is drawn. From a pack of fifty two cards. Each of the fifty two cards having or being equally likely to be drawn find the probability that the card drawn is an ace red either red or king Right and again. Write this question down. Don't try to solve it yet. Just write the question on it. Done. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Before this question, try to solve this question. Right. In a box, you have five red, six black ball. All right. If you draw a ball, what is the probability of getting a red ball? What am can you answer? Sir, five by eleven. Five by eleven. How did you calculate that? Sir, uh, the the required outcome by the total outcome. Right. This we have done till class tenth, right? But if I ask you, if you draw two balls. What is the probability of them being red, both of them? Now, can you say? Will it be five five upon eleven only, or something else? Sir, five upon eleven. Five upon eleven. All right. So if I draw three balls, the answer will be same. Yes, sir. Four balls. Same. Five, six, seven. All of them same answer. No, sir. Till five. Till five. All right. So if you really think about this, selecting one ball and dead being red, and selecting five balls. And all of those being red, which one do you think? Which one does it feel that that is more likely? This is less likely. So getting five balls is less likely. Less likely, but according to you, the answer is same, right? So yes, sir. This thing we have not learned yet, right? One ball, very clear. Five upon eleven. We need only one ball. This is very simple way to write. All right. What works behind this is combination, right? Selection. In which chapter did we study about combination? Sir, permutation, combination, or mutation and combination, right? So here, see, you had to select one ball, right? Out of eleven balls. So in how many ways can you do that? Bottom. One ball out of eleven balls. Sir, one by eleven. No, no, no. I am asking: In how many ways can you select one ball out of eleven balls? Remember the calculus. Yes. How do you calculate that? Eleven C one. Right? Eleven C one. So, if you have to select one ball out of this eleven, then you have. Uh, this many way, this will be your sample space. Eleven C one. What do you want? We want red. In how many ways can you select a red ball? Five C one. If you simplify this, we get five by eleven. This is how we get this. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, Arsalan Abdul. You have to use the chapter permutation and combinations. All right. Okay. So now, Gautam, can you answer about these two balls being red? If you had two balls. Two by eleven. Two by. No, 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 no. Think about this using this permutation and combinations. Don't write. Don't try to write it down as simple. You have to select two balls out of eleven. This will be the sample space, right? Two balls out of eleven, eleven C two, and you want to, we want them to be red. So out of five balls, you want to have two balls, right? Always think like that. First, try to calculate the sample space, then what you want, and think in probability and permutation and combination. Otherwise, it will be wrong. 
right, Gautam? Yes, sir. Okay, Arsalan Abdul. All right. So I have this clear. Then try to solve the first question. One card being drawn. I'll give you a few minutes. All right. Try this one out. No worries if it's wrong. One card is drawn from a pack of fifty-two cards. Each of them being equally likely to be drawn. Find the probability that the card drawn is first part says an ace. You remember about cards, right? I told you in that chapter also. If anyone has any doubts, you can ask. Okay, then try this one out.
Have you solved? Gautam Abdul Arslan. No. Sir, uh, third one I'm not getting. Another one I wrote. All right. Let's see. They are saying you are drawing one card, right? Out of 52 cards. So how many ways can you do that, Gautam? One card out of 52 cards. Gautam, can you answer? That is Sir, I wrote that one, one by 52. One by 52. All right. I'm just talking about if you have to select one card out of 52. So 52, C, 1. Out of 52 cards, you have to select one. Right? Now, in the first part, they are saying this has to be an ace. All right. Ace. So there are four A's. If you have to select random, You have to select one card out of 52 cards. What you want is an ace. So there are four aces. So you want them to be one ace out of four. Right? There are four aces. You want that to be an ace. So four, C1. If you have to choose one card out of 52, so 52 C1. Clear? Got them? Yes, sir. Okay, Abdul Arsalan. Okay, in the second part, it has to be a red card. So again, you can select this 52C1, but you want it to be red. So there are 26 red cards. You want this to be one of them, 26C1. In the third part, they are saying either red or king. All right, either red or king. Again, 52C1 is the denominator. Either red. So first, let's try to calculate red cards. 26 red cards. 26C1. Or means plus king. Now see, when we calculated 26 C1, we already calculated about two kings, two red kings. Now only two is left, two, two C1. Clear? Yes, sir. In the fourth part, red and a king. That means only two red, uh, red and kings are there. So two C1 upon 52 C1. All right. Everyone clear about this? Yes, sir. Okay, next question. A box contains contains nine red seven white and four black balls if two balls are drawn at random find the probability that both the balls are red. All right. Always think in permutation and combinations. If you have to select two balls out of all, use combinations. If you have to choose two balls out of red, use combination. Find the ratio. That will be the answer. 
one ball is white the balls are of same color one is white and other is red all right try to solve this one i'll give you a few minutes
all this gautam aslan abdul no sir no are you trying to solve or not have me no trying sir trying all right let's see you have to select two balls right out of how many 9 7 plus 4 that is 20 out of 20 balls you have to select two balls then how many ways can you do that gautam you have to select two balls out of 20 balls minus so 4 by 20 no, no, i told you see whenever trying to solve in probability question like this always think in permutation and combination just forget about probability everything you have to select two balls out of 20 balls in how many ways can you do this sir nine ways nine ways after calculating you are saying yes sir how do you get nine how did you calculate that nine ways sir nine principle sir no no that is arrangements you have to select that means you see right two balls out of 20 20 c2 is in the right bottom you have to select you have to choose two balls out of 20 so 20 c2 is that right yes sir now in probability the question says you have to select two balls right that means if there are the conditions this is the many ways you could do but now let's apply conditions in the first part the denominator will be 20 c2 right without any condition this is the total outcomes you can choose now they are saying both the balls are red so how many red balls are there nine how many do you have to choose two how many ways can you do that gautam so 9 c2 9 c2 absolutely right so the answer will be 9 c2 divided by 20 c2 this is the probability right total outcomes here favorable outcomes clear gautam yes sir this is how to think in permutation and combination asran abdul is it clear this is very important this questions will come in the exam Sir, we can write nine C two by twenty C two an exam. No, you have to simplify also. All right, you cannot leave it like this. All right, you have to simplify. In the second part, one ball is white. We have nine red and seven white, four black, right? One ball is white. Total ways twenty C two again. You have to select one white. In how many ways can you do that, Gautam? So seven C one. Seven C one. Now the other one has to be not white. That means either red or black. So in how many ways can you choose one red or black ball? Can you answer, Gautam? Sir, could you repeat the question? Yes. The other one comes from either red or black. You have to choose one out of this red or black ball. How many ways can you do that? Sir, thirteen C two. Thirteen C one, right? You have to select one ball. Yes, sir. Thirteen C one. Now, do I multiply or add? This two, should I multiply or add? Sir, add. Think about this, Gautam. Clearly, does this have to happen with this, or do you want any of them? 
we want Either this and it. this anyone uh, you can select this or this no sir what do you want this and this right we want right. one white Both. and yeah so we multiply this clear yes sir okay the third part the balls are of same color so they can be either red or white or black so two ball, two red balls 9c2 or means plus two white 7c2 or black 4c2 in total is 7c2 is this clear yes sir okay fourth part one is white and other is red so one it white 7c1 and red 9c1 in total is 20c2 clear yes sir okay note it down if you want all right i'll give you two minutes the next question okay arsalan abdul is it clear okay write down next question four cards are drawn at random from a pack of 52 playing cards find the probability of getting all the cards of the same sort one card from each suit two red cards and two black cards all cards of the same color all face cards all right try to solve this one
Sir, what do you mean by all cards are the same shape? Gautam, you remember about I told you uh, suits in a deck of cards, there are four suits, right? Clubs, diamonds, spades, and hearts. So they are saying all the four cards should be from the same suit, either clubs or diamonds or like that. Clear, Gautam? Sir, here take one from each suit or four from or four from each. In the first part, they are saying all the cards of the same suit. So either four of them come from clubs or four of them comes from diamonds like that. What you are saying is the second part. One card from each suit. All right? Yes, sir. Okay.
Can you solve this? Yes, sir. Okay. Measure answers. In the first part, four cards are drawn. That means fifty-two C four in the denominator. In the first part, all the cards of the same suit. How to write this? Bottom. Thirteen C four into thirteen C four into or plus. See, read it in English. Either from clubs or from spades or from diamond or from heart. Right. If you speak in English, it will be clear. Four from each. No, no. They are saying all the cards of the same suit. You have you are not selecting sixteen cards. You are selecting only fourteen. So they can come from either this or this or this or this, right? Because you are only selecting four cards, not sixteen. Yes. Sir. Is it clear at the bottom? Okay. And the second part. One card from each suit, what them? So thirteen C one. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Plus thirteen C one. Here, did you write plus or multiplication? Plus sir. Here it will be multiplication, right? Because one card from each suit, one from spade, and one from clubs, and one from diamonds like this. Clear. Speak it out. All right, Gautam. Whenever trying to solve this question, if you have to use multiplication or addition, try to speak it out. One card from each suit. That means one from diamond, one from like this. If you have to use and or or. All right. Yes, sir. In the third, all the cards of the same color. So either it has to be red or black. So I know that addition will be there. So twenty six C four or twenty six C four upon fifty two C four. Clear? Yes, sir. In the fourth, fourth one, tell me. Sir, fourth one I didn't get. You didn't. All right. Uh, how many face cards are there? Sir, face cards twelve. Well, so twelve cards are total. You have to select four and fifty C four. This is the final answer. All right. Yes, sir. Sir. Okay. Third one, how twenty six C four? See, uh, they are saying all the cards of the same color. So, twenty six red colors card. Twenty-six black color cards we have, so they can come from either red or black. So four cards out of red is twenty-six C four. Four cards out of black is twenty-six four. We use addition because they can this or this. So the question is twenty-two red cards and two black cards. Oh sorry, I missed the question. I guess yes. Total five questions, right? I mixed. Okay, this is the fourth one. Not third one. Okay, I missed the third question. Third question is two red cards and two black cards. All right. Two black cards and two red cards. So and means multiplication. Two red means twenty six C two, and two black means twenty six C. And means multiplication. Clear? This is fifth one. Yes, sir. Right. Check the numbering. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay then. Complete the assignment. All right. And you can do the NCERT also. NCERT try sixteen point three from one to ten. All right. that is the homework see you in the next class all right take care okay so thank you okay